Protectors have no opening night, Miss Harris. We make our entrance after the curtain has fallen on someone else's life. Is it wrong to be married to one's work? Uh, no. Not at all. I mean, sometimes it's no honeymoon. You see, I like my job. I really do. And if I say so myself, I'm good at it too. I catch the bad guys, well, most of the time. So it's a good life, a perfectly good life. Not exactly sublime. When I finish my work, and I crawl into bed, I reflect as I turn out the lights. That the day that's to come, and the week that's ahead, will be lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. Lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. Oh, brisket and broad beans each Thursday. With your friends. Yeah, my friends. See, I like my pals. The guys on the force. We're not very social. They're all married, of course. Sometimes we go bowling or have a few beers. So it's a fine life. A perfectly fine life. I'd give it two cheers. Sometimes I think, at the end of the day, when I've read the last burglar his rights, that the life that I need, that's a little bit great. Of its lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. Lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. But you acting boys, won't they make for a change? Oh, Miss Harris! Each year from May 23rd to the 12th of June, when I turn my life over to the Swallow Street Players, that's more than a vacation for me. That's an overture of hope. It's the curtain rising on the greatest joy of my life. For the rest of the year, the life that I need, that's a little bit great. There are plenty of low days and not many heights. Mostly lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. I don't mean to seem forward, but might I walk you home? Well, you said we're not allowed to leave. 